Boss fights. So it's just one line about prancing through the hood, and, and like he'll have to punch it in for me because I always lose it, dude. Like every time. Hip Hop DX. My name is Open Mike Eagle. I'm representing the Hellfire Club. My name is Milo. I represent Hellfire Club until my bones are brittle and yellow and gross and disgusting. LA rapidly rap rap stuff. I go to St. Norbert College in Wisconsin. I study philosophy, stuff that deals with 20th century uh, philosophy of language. Super nerdy stuff. I used to MySpace message Mike when I was like 12. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> um, and it's just because I, I admired him and I admired his raps a lot. My very first mixtape, I tried to get him on it. Like, I was like, hey. I got this song about me being a great rapper, and you should be on it. Yeah. I got on it, and then I took it, and I made it mine. That's what I did. That happened. Yeah. Got bodied on my own rap song. It's not true. I'm Simon Belmont, because of Shell Shock. Bill Collectors turned the back to post in my mail. What we do is a lot more about who we are than where we are necessarily, so it makes sense that the people who were kind of like dialed in, they could be all over the place. Right. They could be in Europe, they could be in Japan. The geography doesn't really matter that much. And that, that I mean, as a kid, right, like growing up in Maine as like a weird black kid, that's exactly what it was. It's like on the internet there exists these kind of weird black guys who are rapping. Like that's exactly what I want. One unique thing about LA is that LA has always had places for rappers to convene. For a very long time it was Project Glow. So when I came out here, that was the first place I went. And almost everybody who I call a friend in this scene is somebody who I met at that place during that time. LA is very location centric in terms of its scenes. Um, for me, and coming from, from a very outsider notion, and, and like going to college in Wisconsin and growing up in Maine, it's like, it's said with the same reverence as like Mecca, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, LA rap scene. Or like, you know, this isn't LA. I think it's important to create things, man. It doesn't mean that your creation is qualified because it's good. I think just the action of making something is important. And this idea of community building for the people who have been traditionally left out of the already built community. I think that's important. I think with the internet, we're able to kind of move in such a way that I can, I can get to these people with the music that I'm making. The internet is also, you know, was the lead cause in people deciding that they didn't have to pay for music anymore. There's that aspect of the internet, but then, yeah, it also provides people the tools to create it uh, in more numbers than ever before, too. Independent is spoken of as much uh, economically as it is aesthetically. So you can be mainstream independent and have built your whole following on YouTube outside of the record label system and still be considered independent, yeah. you know? Um, just like aesthetically, you can be super weird and signed to a major and still be called independent or a subsidiary of a major or something like that. I do feel like it's important on a level that we're trying to do it to kind of establish what our, you know, establish our aesthetic in that sense, uniqueness as, a, you know, as an aesthetic and, and, and just being true to what we do. Yeah, it's very important in terms of our success. If I ever even tried to do something like mainstream enough where it wasn't me and it clearly wasn't me, then it would certainly fail. You know what I mean? Because my entire history has been invested in like doing me to the utmost, to the point where it's like even, you know, I've made some mistakes doing me, but that's where my investment is, that's where my commitment is. Mike, bus driver, 
those two guys in particular who are now I'm affiliated with through Hellfire Club um, were tremendous influences on me as like a young preteen and teenager. I kind of feel like my music is in a sense a response to what they what they've done already. The magnificent facial instruments. Thank you. You're great. That's no can do. Hellfire Club. This is a great man. Real brown people. That's the first one. I have to think about the next one. That's the sentence? Yeah, it was a sentence fragment. <laughs> but I would write that as a sentence. <laughs> this is a written interview. I would write real brown people, period. Sin. <laughs> real brown people inciting a paradigm shift. You know, um, real brown people trying to trying to do something that's on the margins, like you're talking about. And 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 be proud of it. And and and, and really do that unabashedly. I don't know how many sense. We put out a white rapper too, I gotta say that for the record. We put out Intuition, so we're not racist. Or, I mean, yeah, no, we're not. I might be a little racist. I have to think about that before. I'm I half Portuguese and half black. Man. So, you know, I enjoy some benefits. There you go. Some, some privilege. Move around some different spaces. <laughs> That's right. You can kill each one of my best friends and I will write them so, so my poems like I ain't fucking noticed, bitch. <laughs> Until the next time I come to LA, thank you so much, thank you so much.